Welcome lovies, my name is Emerald C and I am here with the fragrance game changer for you ladies who are looking to switch it up just a little bit. The fragrance I have is Cinerina from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. It's in this little sample vial that I have for Scentbird because I have a Scentbird subscription. It is very elegant, classy, it's floral, it's warm. It is great if you're looking for a summertime fragrance. So if you switch out your fragrances seasonally, this needs to go into the summer spring fragrance. And it's also really good for the daytime. So if you're looking for a daytime fragrance, something that is really going to, you know, pop and be very different from the fragrances you have, especially if you're like me. I love orange blossom, jasmine tuberose. So a lot of my fragrances have those notes. So this was good for kind of stepping outside of that box. <laughs> Cinerina is an everyday fragrance. It's an EDP. So if you're looking for a signature everyday scent that is very different from what you already have in your collection, this could be a good idea or something that you could possibly add to your fragrance collection. So let's start off with the top notes. Top notes of this fragrance are pepper, which is very spicy. It's warm. It's very woody. And it's if you need something that's going to pack a punch, the pink pepper will absolutely do that. Followed by black currant. So Black Courant is a really good fruity, tart, sweet fragrance. Middle notes are rose, peony, and jasmine. So middle notes, you're getting nothing but florals. So if you love florals, it's going to hit your nose very well. Base notes of this fragrance are panna cotta, musk, and patchouli. So with the panna cotta, you get the very warm vanilla, gumon, coffee-like aroma. Then of course there's musk, which is very earthy. And last but not least, there's patchouli, which is again, very earthy and it's slightly woody. So those are the fragrances that pretty much work together to create this fragrance. So now that we got that out of the way and we know exactly what the notes are in here, let's dig just like a little bit deeper. When you first smell this scent, you're going to get a very sharp blast of pink pepper. It's giving very spicy. It's going to be very spicy when you first spray it on. For me, that's one of the things that made me want to purchase this scent. It is a blind buy from Scentbird because I have a Scentbird subscription. So I did not know what everything was smelling like beforehand before I actually purchased it until I got it. I just kind of ran through the notes and I'm like, this seems like something that would be very different and a nice, a nice idea to kind of add to my collection to see if it's worth buying a larger bottle. Now the peppery opening is what you're going to smell first. You'll get about 20 minutes of it before it kind of dries down. Now when it dries down, you'll get the nice floral notes. So we're talking about the peony, the jasmine, the rose. That's what you're going to smell next. So if you love florals, you're going to get those warm. You're going to be comforted by those warm, like elegant florals. Dry down, which lasts the longest. The dry down for this fragrance, you're going to be like enveloped in like that warm panna cotta vanilla must note. They complement each other so well and they last quite a bit of time. Siage, siage for this fragrance. So when we spray it, how big is it? Siage for this fragrance is about an arm's distance. So you're not gonna be able to smell me from 10 feet away, 20 feet away, or from across the street. It doesn't fill a room. If you're within an arm's distance or if you hug me, you're gonna be able to smell it. Longevity, so how long is our Cinderina lasting? She is definitely gonna last about five, six hours, at least for me. Don't forget. For your fragrance to last an extended period of time, you want to hit those pulse points and you want to make sure you're moisturized before layering your fragrance. So you know I'm hitting my wrist, the insides of my elbow, back of my knees, yes, neck, chest, ears, all of that because I want to make sure that this scent lasts quite a bit. So I want to hit everything. I don't do the cute two or three sprays. I want to make sure you smell me and it stays on. Every lady needs a switch up in their fragrance collection. You don't want to smell like the same thing and just have different names on your perfume bottles. You want to be able to have a variety of scents for a variety of different occasions. So let's just kind of keep this in mind. If you are not a huge like peppery scent person if you think you might be turned off by how potent like the peppery aroma may be like if you've ever smelled anything else that had like pink pepper in it and you're like whoa that's a lot because again it is a very strong scent and you might be turned off by it this scent would not be a good blind buy for you 
But I will say this, if you can get past the first 20 to maybe 30 minutes tops of the like peppery aroma, you're going to love this scent. I love the dry down of this because again, the peppery scent is very potent. It's sharp. It's a beautiful thing if you like that. If not, you will absolutely love the dry down. It's not one of those generic scents that you can kind of buy everywhere. It is very different. It is unique. It's still feminine. And it is one I would suggest if you can get past the peppery aroma. If you love perfume reviews, tips, tricks, or if you tried anything that I've suggested on my channel, I wanna hear from you. If there's a fragrance that you are curious about and you want me to try, I need you to subscribe, comment, like, let me know what you're into. Until then, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.